Hey guys, so we're gonna make dinner, or we're gonna make lunch for tomorrow for Sid. So it is not going to be a keto meal, but you can still make the exact same meal and just, I actually washed my apron, it looks so much better. Um, <clears throat> the exact same meal with cauli rice versus we're using regular rice. So you can make this keto with simple alteration, no big deal. Okay, so um, we're gonna get started because it is almost six and at seven, American Idol starts and it's three hours tonight. So I wanna be able to watch that. <clears throat> Love when I can watch it live. Okay, so I'm gonna get everything going here. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the shrimp. I don't think I need to show you that. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the shrimp. We're gonna get ready. Uh, we're gonna do this in the Ninja Foodie and we'll whip it out and get it done. And I'll get back to my uh, comfy spot over there on the chair and edit this video while we're watching American Idol. So hopefully you'll see it tonight. See you in a few. Hey guys, okay, here we go. We're gonna do, it's a version of a shrimp fried rice in the Ninja Foodie, but it's not really like a traditional fried rice like you'd make because Sid doesn't like peas or carrots and he doesn't, you know, he doesn't care for most of that stuff, but he loves the rice with a certain seasoning. So I'm gonna stir fry it with the, with the shrimp in Ninja Foodie. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna eat, because he wants it with long grain rice, so we're gonna pressure cook for about four minutes and then we're going to bake for about five minutes and so it's like 10 minutes this is done so it took me a little bit to did uh devein and shell these shrimp they are jumbo shrimp they're a little too big for what i want them for so i'm going to cut them all in half um you know just use a little leave a little of the skinnier part and then chunk off you know something to this respect so we're just, i'm just going to chop these in half and we're gonna get them in this bowl and then I'm gonna start getting all the marinade ingredients. You're gonna need the juice of one lime and the juice of one lemon. I've made the same recipe for salmon, for tuna, for steak, for just about everything. We have done shrimp in it before, but we grilled them. So um, you're gonna use a teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a tablespoon of olive oil or avocado oil, whichever one you prefer. We're gonna use about a teaspoon of onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now you can use onion and garlic if you like those because fresh is always better, but Sid prefers the, the powders versus the actual vegetables where so you use a little salt and pepper and some paprika so i'm gonna get everything in this bowl marinating in that juice and then i'm gonna start the rice so um i'm gonna go ahead and cut all these in half and i'll pop back in when i'm actually assembling the marinade into the bowl so i'll be right back all right guys sid's in the kitchen say hi sid what's up he's still not a hundred percent himself today so we're gonna start squeezing this lime in here. Oh, gee, Merry Christmas. Maybe I should have kept him in here to help me with this lime. My goodness. Just grab a bowl of the pickle. This is. Mm -hmm. Dang, that's not a very. Let's hope the other half is juicier than that one. For the lime. Apparently. <laughs> Hold on, babe, come here. Can I need you to squeeze this? <laughs> apparently I'm not, apparently this lime has decided it doesn't want to be juiced. It's hard, huh? Yeah, that's pretty hard. <laughs> it's your hands? <laughs> You're on YouTube. <laughs> okay, thank you, babe. I don't know, if they get them and give me a problem, you might want to stay close. <laughs> All right, now got the lemon. Is that better? Yep. Okay. It's just that lime didn't like me. Okay, so we got juice of a lime and the juice of a lemon in one pound of shrimp. Uh, like I said, these are jumbo shrimp, but I cut them in half. We're gonna do a teaspoon. I have typed this out in some of my other videos, but if you need it again, let me know. Of rice wine vinegar. Then we're gonna do two tablespoons of Worcestershire and I have this bottle just not very much left in it. So we're gonna see if we can get two tables. We got, oh, so close. Got one. Okay. And got two. So we got two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. 
throw that other jar away. Oops, almost. Good catch, Tony. Okay, so then we're gonna get two tablespoons of soy sauce. Stop laughing at me. Now I'm over here dropping stuff. Okay. We're going to get a tablespoon of, this is avocado oil, just whichever one I grab. Okay, that joins the party. Now this marinade is gonna go actually in the rice. So we wanna make sure everything's extra, extra, extra flavorful. So we're gonna get some cracked pepper in here. Sea salt. I don't have to do too much because the soy sauce has, has some salt in it. That is not the reduced sodium that I usually use. Let me dry my spoon. I'm measuring for you. I don't measure. I usually just pour. Okay, so a teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. So, this is our marinade. Oh, I've forgot one thing. And I use the paprika when I do it with shrimp. It seems to taste pretty good. It's probably about a quarter of a teaspoon. If I had to guess how much that was, okay? So we got all of this in here. Let's grab our little tongs. We're just gonna toss this all around. And we're gonna set this in the fridge. Okay guys, we had a memory card issue, but we are back on track. So I have uh, set my um, foodie to uh, sear saute um, and I push start because that's what I always forget to do and I'm like, why isn't it getting hot? I do it constantly. So I have been marinating the shrimp now in our sauce for well over 10 minutes, um, but 10 minutes is our minimum. And as you can see the citrus, some of the shrimp is starting to cook. I mean, you can actually just leave it in this lemon juice, put it in the fridge, covered with uh, saran wrap and you've essentially got ceviche. It's exactly the same thing, just cooking in the in the citrus juices. So, fun fact. So, we are trying to wait for our ninja to get nice and hot. We're gonna put our rice and our shrimp in there. Um, I'm gonna pick the shrimp up with the tongs just to let a little bit of the liquid stay in the bowl so that we can get a little sear on, on both the rice and the shrimp. But I'm watching Shark Tank in the background. I'm trying to sign a deal on a sippy cup. Oh, so I was watching. Who was I watching? Oh, Frida Family. Yeah, she did a video today on some keto rolls, some bread rolls, and I think I'm gonna give them a shot. I will make a video. I, it's, they sound pretty similar to one that I made like when we first started keto back in the day. Um, I just, I mean, they were good. It's just, they didn't have a shelf life. But I mean, if you're just gonna make, like she, her recipe makes six. So if you're just making six, and it would be really good with my pot roast lunch for tomorrow. So I may whip that out here while I'm sitting in the background watching, while I'm getting ready to watch American Idol, yay. Okay, so we're gonna start. This is one cup of rice. And I have here one and three-fourths cup of water, which we're going to pour in later. Um, we're going to let this just get a little more hot. Move our rice around. I do have um, about a tablespoon and a half of um, olive oil in the bottom of this pan. I'm just going to start to, you know, like when you make Spanish rice, you kind of, you, you fry the rice a little bit in oil to kind of open up the kernels while, so that's what, what's what our agenda is here. So we're trying to let this rice open up a little bit. Good. Alrighty. So we're gonna get let this cook for a few minutes. Once we start hanging, <laughs> can't even talk. Once we start hearing the sizzle, um, I'll start adding the shrimp. So I'm gonna pause you for a minute, and I'll be back when we're ready to start adding our shrimp. Okay. So here we go. So we're just gonna start adding our shrimp. Um, you can pick them up a couple at a time, but the object here is to leave the marinade in the much, as much as we can in the bowl. But we're not throwing it away, we're going to go in the rice. Okay. Oh my god. 
gonna it's gonna get loud, so I'll try to talk louder, but I can't scream over the TV. I know my video from this morning was a little difficult to hear, so I'm trying my best to make sure I talk nice and loud so we can get this. All right, getting there. Okay, well, we'll get a couple more. Okay, so here's our marinade. We're going to put this to the side for just a few minutes. We've lost my tongue. So we're going to use them. And we're going to stir fry our rice and our shrimp. So we're essentially cooking the shrimp and stirring up the rice at the same time. This is gonna be so delicious, guys. You have to try this. I don't even like shrimp and it looks good. I would do this with chicken in a minute. But I'd put vegetables in it, so it would just be like the stir fry I just made the other night. I didn't do it in the foodie. And even if the shrimp it doesn't get completely, completely cooked right here, when we cook this, um, whenever it be between four and five minutes on pressure, it's going to not only cook the rice, but it's going to finish the shrimp. So don't worry if not every shrimp looks completely, you know, white and pink, you know, that cooked color. And we're just going to keep stirring this around. Oh my gosh, that's not great. And it's literally. We may not have to boil it as long afterwards. You know, I just make these recipes up on the fly, so we have to put it on bake maybe just a few minutes to let the rice finish, but I really don't know if we're even gonna have to do it that much. Alright. So we're gonna go in here with our water. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little bit of that because it looks like. Okay, so now we're pouring the marinade in the pot. This is a little stir. Okay. Okay, going back to pressure. Set. I'm going to <clears throat> clean up and I will be back when the timer goes off and we'll decide if we're going to push our put our air lid down or not and uh, hey guys okay so it has cooked for the I put it on for five minutes uh, correction I think I said four earlier I put it on for five the rice is just a little less than done and there's still some liquid in there so we are going to go ahead and we are going to put it on oops bake oh yeah they want you to shut the lid to check to, t to turn it on oh, i moved it forward so that the steam wasn't going on my blinds we're going to move this oh and take this down to 325 we're going to take it for just like three minutes okay see you in three minutes all right guys it is done. We're gonna, it is perfect. Just the right amount of liquid, tons of flavor. It smells amazing. The rice is nice and soft. Yep. So, I'll plate it. Ooh, I almost just ate rice. Ah, no, keto, no. Okay, so tempting. Won't do it. Okay, I might try this with cauliflower rice. I know it'll be just as good, but. This is for Sid's lunch for tomorrow, so I'll plate this up and give you guys a quick pick of it, and then we will say goodbye for the night. 
This is the third video today, guys. I think I put some work in. Hey guys, here it is. Final product. It is so good. I should have been to learn how to zoom in. Zoom. Zoom. Oh, maybe this. No, that's not it. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Figured it out. Check it out. Oh my gosh. So, this is the final product. Getting some steam on it. Look at that. Delicious. Those who know Sid know he's not going to eat it with those peppers and onions on there. So, I'll be leaving that off. But, makes for a beautiful picture. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you would, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell, all things YouTube, and I got lunch all boxed up. It's ready to go for Monday. We're off to a successful day tomorrow. Let's hope we're going to do some uh, Green Chef meals this week, so expect some more videos during the week, and um, keep it keto, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much.